HTC used to equip their top-range smartphones with wide, sideswiring, full-quality keyboards that seem to have been largely successful since the fifth generation device with the same form factor, the HTC Touch Pro 2, has just been released. The HTC Touch Pro 2 measures pretty much the same size as the iPhone, the difference being it's several millimeters thicker and much heftier. Its large size allows integration of huge screen and that's exactly what HTC have done. The display measures the healthy 3.6 inches and comes with a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. Just like the Touch Diamond 2, it's ultra sensitive, delivers awesome image quality indoors, but becomes almost unusable if you take it outdoors. The band that controls the zoom level is right below, along with four keys, center NAND, windows and back buttons. The video call camera is right above the screen with two LED indicators elegantly located on either side of the earpiece. One of the key features of the new business phone is its loudspeaker. Once you have removed the back cover though, you'll face reality. The loudspeaker is actually fairly standard in size and the huge grid is all about the fancy design. The HTC Touch Pro delivers an excellent keyboard, but its successor certainly cuts it out of all feathers. Keys are huge thanks to the large size of the device and there is enough space among them. They are aligned in five rows in a checkerboard style and all out symbols are arranged as if on a standard computer keyboard, so they are easy to find and use. The greenish-white backlighting makes them easily discernible, plus it looks pretty cool. While open, display can be set in an angle against the keyboard, which makes for a laptop-like experience. Actually, we have already seen something similar with the Titan 2, or Tilt, and we can't be happier to see it in real life once again. The handset is powered by Windows Mobile 6.1 Professional again, but HTC's own TouchFlow 3D customization pack lends some color to the software. It's actually a newer version when compared to the previous Touch Pro, yet pretty much the same as the one on the Diamond 2. We are not going to show you much about it here, but we do recommend that you watch our video review of the Diamond 2 or read our dedicated full text review of the Touch Pro 2 on our website along with tons of pictures. We are only going to show you what's new here. Opening the keyboard of its predecessor used to call up a list of shortcuts on screen that allowed best use of the keyboard. Now the software simply switches the screen to landscape when it registers the action. Just like the Diamond 2, the phone has an awesome phone book that is by far much better than the standard one coming with Windows Mobile. Another novelty feature is that you can link any phone contact to their relevant Facebook profile and it gets assigned a picture. The camera features a pleasing interface, but snapshots and videos captured with it are mediocre. The integrated music player is comfy to use and the loudspeaker delivers really good sound quality. The Touch Pro 2 can be easily used as a video player as well. Although our tests showed you would need to convert your video content to 640 pixel resolution instead of trying to play videos in the native resolution of the display, 800 pixels. Unfortunately, we are disappointed with the in quality since the voices you hear through the earpiece are not clear and discernible enough. Despite being one of the most heavily advertised features of the phone, the loudspeaker performs really bad and delivers bad quality both ways. The Touch Pro 2 is an excellent Windows Mobile smartphone. The huge screen and awesome keyboard make up for the bulky size and the fact that it's rendered virtually useless in direct sunlight is something we're willing to turn a blind eye to. We are totally disappointed with the mediocre speakerphone, not to mention we did have our hopes on high after seeing all that ad hype over it. If you happen to be looking for an ultra-functional Windows Mobile cell phone, the HTC Touch Pro 2 
is the best option you have as of now. If you'd rather go for something more trendy looking, the Diamond 2 offers pretty much the same, save the keyboard.